Oh, the bartender just waved her hand and She's said, waving I me in. you. I got to wait till five here. Not somewhere, here. But what I like to ask drivers, when they roll into a certain track, does it feel like home? It, does it feel better than other racetracks? When you see the drag strip, does it feel like, yep, I got this one? Yes, and this is one of them, Kenny. This absolutely is a, uh, it's a racer's racetrack. It's a great racetrack. It's a very smooth racetrack. It's always prepped well. You got heat, though. <laughs> That makes it tough. Today's going to be tough out there, but you got a great race service underneath you. So, uh, you know, it's one of them that we lick our chops coming to. It can be 65 degrees or it can be 95 degrees. Today we got the latter, but that's okay. It's the same for everybody. So, uh, you know what? You guys all look like you're having a great time here. When I get done, I think I'm going to come on back here and join you guys in the crowd. This looks like, looks like a lot of fun. Oh, the bartender just waved her hand and She's said, waving I me in. you. I got to wait till 5 here. Not somewhere here. Greg, you talk about how everybody, it's the same for everybody. It's not. Your son tunes Kyle Koretsky, doesn't he? How he do does. you let him get away with that? <laughs> I know. What's wrong with these kids these days? They, uh, you know, they, it's funny. You try to give your kids direction, and they, they won't take it. They won't listen. They know it all. But they'll listen to your friends and your, your competition, basically. So he's having a ball. He's working on my competition's car. But he's learning a lot. He's come a long way in the last few years. And, uh he still likes Dad, though. He still likes when Dad gets it done. So it's a neat a neat atmosphere over at our pit. And uh, the great news is he's loving this sport of drag racing just like we all are. And uh, hopefully someday he'll be behind the wheel of my race car. Greg, was he on you like, Dad, I want to go racing with you? Or did you just kind of say, hey, dude, you want to be a part of this family? This is what you got to do. No, hell no. He wanted to golf. He was a golfer. He was a big golfer. That racing deal just got in the way of his golf. So uh, we finally won him over. I love golf, too, so I kind of encourage that. I love the fact that he loved golf. And, uh, hell, I would have loved to be out there and be his caddy someday. So it was a dream that I had, and he almost ruined my dream. He left golf and came drag racing. But now he's here, and hopefully, as I say, someday he can take over my ride. Again, Freak Nation, there's not many better than this guy. Greg Anderson won himself numerous Pro Stock Championships. And I think for the last 10 years we've been asking him, when the hell is he going to retire? Greg Anderson, when the hell are you going to retire? Maybe tomorrow, Kenny. I don't know. It, it, it's, uh, it's a day-to-day -day, you know, operation. You're only as good as your last race. I won the last race, so now I can't quit. i got to at least go one more. So I'll certainly make it through the end of the year, and we'll reevaluate at the end of the year. But uh, the, the answer is, to everybody that asks, I'm going to get out when I can't win anymore. And as I say, I won last week, so I can't get out yet. You're up for the championship. You're not getting out next year. I'm just going to forecast that. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see, Crash. It, it, it's, a, it's a tough game out there. we got a lot of young kids in the class, girls and guys, and they're doing a great job. So uh, eventually they push the old guys out, and, and uh, I, I see the end of the tunnel. I just don't know. Like I say, it could be tomorrow. It could be two years from now. We'll see. I'm going to do the best I can in the meantime to hold these youngins off. So if you win the championship, you could very well say, all right, I'm going out on top. You could, and if I was smart, I probably would, but that's probably going to work to the opposite. It's going to say you got to do it one more time, so we'll see. But the good news is, yes, I'm in the championship hunt. I've got a shot at trying to get number six. Greg, you'll talk to IndyCar drivers that will run this oval. Same with NASCAR drivers where they'll lose 10 to 12 pounds during a race. When you're sitting in the cockpit of that pro stock car for five, ten minutes, there might be an oil down. You're in that car for 30 minutes. Do you find yourself losing a lot of water weight? Well, I don't know about water weight, but you lose a lot of sweat into the eyes. That's the tough part. you you, you got to keep wiping the sweat out of your eyes so you can see where the hell you're going. So it's a tough game out there, and I'm not going to whine because, yes, they got to be in the car for four hours. we got to be in it for, what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds? So, yeah, we can't act like sissies, and, and we got to suck it up and, and take a little bit of sweat. Who is Greg Anderson's favorite all-time drag racer? You know, I was always a, a huge Bob Glidden fan. Oh, sure. Huge Bob Glidden fan. I love Don the Snake Perdome, Don Garlitz. Some of you guys probably don't even remember these guys. <laughs> I'm aging myself, I guess, probably. But uh, all these old-time greats, that's why I'm in the sport. That's what, what got me hooked at the age of 15 or 16. And here I am at the age of 62 still going. So who knows? Maybe someday some of these young punks out here will say, Greg Anderson was my hero. You never know. When you've got a guy like Bob Glidden and what he meant to the sport, Big Daddy Don Garlitz, what John Force has meant to the sports, and frankly, from a technological standpoint, what you've meant to this sport. Can you put your head on that pillow and feel satisfied with what you've contributed to the NHRA? You know, I feel pretty good about it, and, and, and honestly, our, our class of pro stock, it was kind of on the, 
on the brink of, of failure a few years back, and, and we made a lot of changes in the class, and, and basically what it came down to was I had to stop worrying about Greg Anderson got to win. I've got to fix my race car, do everything I can to make it win. We had to fix the race class. We had to bring on some new talent, and to do that, we had to basically come up with a plan to lease the same exact equipment that Greg Anderson gets to drive. And that, that move paid dividends. It filled the class back up. It made these young cats where they can all win, and it made it very interesting to new people coming into the sport. So that's what we've got right now. It's a great class right now, and uh, yes, I had to a little bit of personal sacrifice, but for the good of the sport, for the good of the class, and uh, I'm proud of that. I don't think a lot of people realize that. I mean, that was a big sacrifice by you, and who else? I want to know who yeah. helped to get this class back together and get it back on the national stage. Well, obviously, all of my team at KB Racing, we all did that. The elite motorsport team with Eric Anders and Richard Freeman and everybody that races over there. Together as a group, we decided this is what we need to do or we will not have a class for our kids to race in. So uh, that's what it was all about. We bit the bullet. We swallowed our own pride, and we created a new pro stock class that hopefully will go farther into the future and uh, give our kids a chance to do this. How does Greg Anderson celebrate a race win? Do you uh, do old guy things, or do you still <laughs> knock one out of the park with about four, four or five Budweiser's? Well, this would be a perfect place to do it. Last weekend, uh, I, got, I got fortunate enough to win at Charlotte. We went to my new team owner, Jim Whiteley's house on the lake, and we drank beer until 4 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, we had a damn good time. You guys are on off to a great start today. And you know what they say, you cannot drink all day if you don't start first thing in the morning. So good job, guys.